Shalom, Yahweh, Elohim, Atum, Rim God One. Open your eyes so I can see. Got your all in check. You feel me? Tomb, all my eyes, my protectors. It's going to clean this plan up. Heal my soul, my spirit, my heart, and mind. Find a light within me. Find a God within me. Shout out to my kings and queens, all my gods and goddesses out here. You're not attuned to hide yourself. No one can form against me with profit. You go against me, you're going to get yourself. And the universe is going to make you suffer for you're going to get yourself because I'm your highest self. Peace to God. I love myself. Okay. In this video right here, I'm going to be talking to y'all about companionship. And I'm going to be talking to y'all about that. How you can tell if y'all, if you and your person that you are dating or somebody that you are with actually trying to have a companionship with you because a lot of people right they together but they not but they do not know each other them fake laughter them fake smiles does not matter if you haven't been put in this uh, uncomfortable situation I mean I mean if you haven't like okay this foot is vice versa for the gods and the goddesses you don't actually know who you truly talking to till you take them out their comfort zone and put them in a, uh, a and put them in and put them in a situation to put them under pressure in an uncomfortable situation and they got to just make themselves be comfortable. They don't have no experience on life. They have not. They always around their families. They always around their friends. They distracted. How can they actually get to know you? How can a man and a woman actually get to know each other? If they don't have no experience on life. And they might get with you, right? They might get with you, right? And they might look at your background. They don't have no experience on life. They see you got a lot of experience in life. They say, oh, he traveled. Oh, you know, he, oh, he most definitely is a high value man. You feel me? Oh, she most definitely is a high value woman. Oh, he most definitely is a god. You feel me? He most definitely is a king. Oh, she most definitely is a goddess. Oh, she most definitely is a queen. You feel me? Because you see they got experience. You see that they got experience. But you don't have no experience. And you got to watch out for these people. That's out here being energy vampires. These incubus. These succubus. You feel me? These incubus, these succubus. These energy vampires. These Jezebel spirits. They would get with you and, act and play a role. Or play this character. Or put on this. Or you know, this act like. They really want something. Real with you. Or they, or they sit back and. Play victim. Like. Every person they get with, treat them bad. But you haven't established a real relationship with yourself. And you got to watch out for these people to always get on camera, always be out here saying, oh, I like being alone. I like being single. Vice versa, you got to watch out for people to always say they don't want to, um, they don't like being single. They don't like being alone. If they don't have no experience on life to show them that you deserve somebody in your life, they guilty. They guilty to proving innocent. They are guilty to proving innocent. You feel me? Yes. They are guilty to be proven innocent. When you get with anybody, just look at everything as a joke. It's not real. If you can't, if you meet this person in this city or this state, and you can't take them out of their comfort zone, to a, so y'all can have some experience on life to actually see if we actually compatible with each other, y'all really not together. Y'all don't got no companionship with, with each other. It doesn't matter if you, like, you feel me? And a lot of people, what they do, they go against their morals and their principles. They go against their hermetic principles. They go against the hermetic principles and they go against their morals and their principles to actually try to be around a person that don't even value you. They don't want to the be, they don't care nothing about you. They like to feel, the, they, they so caught up in subjectivity. 
they're not a lot like both partners got to be a critical and logical and objective thinker for like you feel me both partners got to be masculine and feminine but if if the feminine is overpowering them is overpowering the relationship in the beginning it, it like the feminine energy should not overpower the relationship or the or the or or the um the relationship or you or y'all soul bonding with each other if the feminine energy is overpowering the masculine energy that's a big problem. I'm not saying don't have no feminine energy when y'all connecting with each other. But if it's only about feminine energy, if you were a person and they only just only about feminine energy, no masculine energy whatsoever in them. You feel me? They don't want to take no challenges with you. You feel me? They're scared of pressure. They're scared. I'm, I'm, yeah, they're afraid to be put under pressure because they don't want to get to know you. They just play these mind manipulating games with you to try to be something that they're not. To try to be around you. That's an energy vampire. They only want your energy. They see you vibrating high. They see your vibration is high as hell. They see you real confident. They see you know a lot of things. They see you got experience on a lot of things. They just wanna they just wanna be around your energy. They are spiritual groupies. That's what they are, bro. They are groupies. They just a fan. You don't gotta be no millionaire. You don't gotta have a million dollars. If you got a lot of knowledge and wisdom, they just gonna be around you because they are your fans. They keep coming around you. They keep wanna talk to you. They keep wanna build with you. Um I'm I'm in build, um, have dialogues with you conversation with you get on your panel with you because these people doesn't have a solid foundation or no relationship with themselves because they don't have no they because they're not trying to get they're not trying to get no sovereignty and no immunity keyword with with keyword with can they be with you in any time can you be yourself and you can be with them? Motherfuckers say, oh, that's my uh, wifey. Oh, that's my husband. Stop. Just stop looking for that shit. These titles does not matter. If they can't be with you anytime, any challenges, any tough situation that come in your life, anytime when, you, when, when a man or a woman be like, Hey, 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 it's something going on in the world. Oh, I'm not, or the, this vibration, or some, or this energy in this environment, or this shit situation is off, it's not safe, or, or, or we got to move to a better place to stay in the heavenly mindset. To keep our, our vibration high. If one person is all about taking that trip, or, or going forward or moving forward to actually applying pressure and the other person is folding under pressure, it's over. It's over, bro. It's over. So, like, and I be telling people all the time, man, y'all gotta have immunity and y'all gotta have sovereignty. If y'all don't have no immunity or no sovereignty or y'all not working towards that, it's over. It's over. You gotta understand. A person, an OG told me to ask this person a question after I was about to break up with them for the uh, for the second time. They were like, before you break up with them again, give them another chance. Ask, ask, them, just ask them this question. Is you afraid to be in a relationship, in, in a new relationship with a person and they showing you perfection and they, and they showing you that they try not to make no mistakes? You feel me? And this person say this. This is what this person say. They say, yes, I'm afraid to get my heart broken. When a person say they're afraid to get their heart broken, it's over, bro. It's over. They're caught up in subjectivity. They're caught up in personal feelings and emotions. How can you get them out of personal feelings and emotions? Get them away from people that are caught up 
on personal feelings and emotions. But they got to be strong minded. Mostly females are real emotional. Because a lot of female, female species, women in general, they caught up in subjectivity. They caught up in personal feelings and emotions. They think life is all about positive. There's always the positive going on all the time. But they don't understand life is duality. You can't have the positive without the negative. You can't have good without evil. Life is not about having fun all the time. And being happy all the time. Look what's going on in the world. The world's fucked up. I'm not trying to change the world. I'm just trying to train. I'm just trying to recondition my mind and reprogram my mind and change my mindset to be in a safe place. Because your like people gotta understand your first home is your mind. If you showing people red flags or they showing you red flags, like. They don't even feel like they even a safe person to be around. Like, like they like people like play mind manipulation games with you, bro. And then people think when you know a lot of shit, but you still willing to learn, even though you're a teacher, you still telling yourself, I'm still a student. Even though I'm a teacher, I'm still a student because I'm still open to learn new things about another person. Because every time when you get in, I don't re- like you can't live life without without fear. You can't live life without no regret. And there's people out here that think that they can just live life without no fear, without no regret. Because they don't hold themselves accountable for nothing. For none of the shit that they do. They just think that they can just be like, oh, I can just, oh, if I just feel uncomfortable about it, I don't got to do it. I don't got to do it. I don't got to make my, uh, you know, my king happy anymore. Even though I sleep with him. Even though he took me out. On a date and did things that most people have never done with me before. It's a joke, brother. It doesn't matter if you're going on dates. It doesn't matter if you're taking them out. It doesn't matter if you're around them, showing them attention. Y'all don't know each other because y'all don't have no experience with each other. That's why I'm making this video. If y'all, if y'all, it's all about companionship. It's all about being with a person. Y'all can be together at that moment of time, but but when that pressure comes, is y'all gonna fold under pressure or y'all gonna apply pressure to keep that to keep that solid foundation? You feel me? It's all about keeping that solid foundation. Yeah. Man and woman doesn't have no solid foundation with each other. They just with each other for desires, attachments, idols. Worldly possession. That's it. Man and woman these days get in relations with each other because they don't love themselves. They got attachments. Personal feelings. Uh, uh, um, they caught up in their personal feelings. You feel me? They got desires. And they in love with worldly possession. They worship idols. They're not happy with themselves. They haven't been put in a, in a, in a, they don't have no experience in life with themselves. They don't have, they don't even have a solid foundation with themselves in the beginning to even want to be with somebody. They don't have no experience on life. If you haven't put yourself in an uncomfortable situation to be comfortable, to be comfortable, you are living a lie. You and you're delusional. You, 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 you program. Use a bot. You program, and anybody you get with, they gonna be the same way because you don't have. You can't. They can't learn nothing new from you. They can't learn nothing new from you. It's not all about being happy and having fun all the time. Relationship is not about that. Relationships are are overcoming and learning from your mistakes. Overcome to become your higher self and learning from your mistakes. That's what a solid foundation is all about. Having a relationship with yourself. That's what a true relationship is. If you don't have that, you're not going, you just in your lower self. You just literally in your lower self. Your vibration is real fucking low. 
You don't care whether you live or die. You feel me? When somebody don't want to apply pressure and they fold it under pressure, they are showing you they don't care whether they live or die. If a person is easy to give, if a person is easy to give up on you during pressure, when they put under pressure and, they, and it's time to make a challenge decision, if they don't want to accept the challenge, they don't want no experience in life with you. They don't want to really get to know you. They just like your energy. They are groupie. They just groupies. They just a fan. It's nothing wrong with that, but we don't got time. Time is valuable. You don't got time to waste. And life is too short to be playing around and playing these manipulating games with people. Cause you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna miss out on a good opportunity. When people act like that, dog, they lack gratitude. They ungrateful. They don't have no value for themselves. They don't want no power. We're supposed to be getting together, trying to have control and force over our reality, over our universe. We should be getting together to gain power, to empower each other. Not utilize each other and take advantage of each other for personal feelings and emotions. Personal, temporary, temporary personal feelings and emotions. In this um, eternal world, because eternal life is death. Death is life. We're supposed to overcome death together. You feel me? We don't post it just accept death. And we just don't post to accept how the way the world is going. We're supposed to come together and have sovereignty and immunity to overcome all these obstacles and all these tests that's put right in front of us because every day of our life we're being tested the devil is god behind the scenes you just don't know that god is testing you through the devil through the devil destruction that he's put upon the earth could the wicked the hands has the earth has been given to the hands of the wicked so you gotta overcome the wicked ones. You gotta uh, you gotta overcome the wicked world. You don't supposed to be in love with the world. Nothing in it. No no things in it. Don't be in love with it. I'm not saying don't have no love for it, but don't be in love with it. Cause when you be in love with something else, you're not in love with yourself. And you leashing off these other things like a parasite, like a virus and the disease. So it has to show them to actually have love for yourself because you don't have love without things. When you get with a person that's so attached to certain things and desire certain things and can't stop and, and can't like it could be family, friends, it can be any anybody, best friends, whatever you want to call it. And you with a person and you feel as though like, bro, they just don't love themselves, bro. They need family, friends. They need all these people around them that don't support their mental health, that don't support their physical health, that don't support their spiritual health, that don't support them, uh, um, um, the uh, showing them, that's not trying to help them, show them what a, um, not trying to give them no purpose in life. That's what I'm saying. A lot of people, a lot of people don't have no purpose in life. They just whip people just for the fun of it. They just whip people because they just want to be happy. They just want to ha um just have fun all the time. They just whip people because they want to be happy and they want to have fun. Fun, 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 happy, happy, happy. No, it doesn't work like that, yo. You gotta start establish a solid foundation with yourself to even be truly 100% happy in this world. Nobody happy. It's people that's millionaires out here. Not happy. There's a lot of millionaires out here have to sleep around with multiple women all the time and got to trick around and spend a lot of money on these on these women all the fucking time. It's men out here in hell with millions of dollars out here. Because 
women doesn't want to buy you though. They don't. They're not attracted to them. They don't care about how you look anymore. We're not in the 70s and 60s and the 90s. Women don't care about how the way you dress, how the way you look. They lying. It's a joke. When you get with a person, just know in the beginning, it's a joke. It's a joke. You feel me? Just look, just get in, in the beginning, just know like, man, this shit just a joke. She, this person is guilty. You feel me? Okay, this person might be telling me all the all these experiences in life, what the fuck they've been through. To they proving that they innocent, they guilty. You you still a, like people think going to court is all about seeing if a person guilty or seeing a person is innocent. Mm mm. Based on the alleged victim, no. We still victims to white supremacy. We all victims to this fucked up world that we live in. We as victims to hell. We portal back here again in reincarnation to try to learn from our mistakes. Trying to have a, a, a connection with the Most High God, Yahweh. You perfect. You was made in God's image. How the fuck you not perfect? It's all about perfection. If you're not about perfection, then you an enemy. You the problem that's wrong with the world. If you don't want sovereignty and immunity. You're a cancer cell. You're a virus. You is the you is the disease in the cancer cells that's in the body of the planet Earth. Because you're a cell and you're a living organism walking around. <clears throat> like I said, bro. It's a learning experience. Life is the obstacle course. It's a learning experience. To you overcome all your demons and actually do the shadow work. And stop being prideful and stop being so caught up in your ego. Having a big alter, alter ego. Let that shit go. Stop labeling yourself as a man and a woman. Stop calling yourself a deity. Become a two-spirit, then you will understand what life actually is. I'm a two-spiritual person. I'm a male and a female. I'm a deity. To other people, it sounds crazy because they don't do their research. But like I said, man, you can't be stuck to one thing. You got to know all things in life. You got to study all things in life. Because if you be stuck on just one thing in life, you ain't going to know shit. You ain't going to know shit. You ain't gonna know shit, bro. And I'm telling people right now. When you get with a person, it's not about actions. It's all about reactions. It's all about their reaction. Yeah, y'all going on dates. Yeah, y'all having fun. Yeah, y'all having a good time. Yeah, y'all vibing out. But when it's time to get put under pressure, is you gonna apply pressure or you gonna fold under pressure? That's when you can determine if y'all actually is going to be with each other. Y'all don't know. It's people that's with each other for four years, three years, five, ten years. They haven't ever put, been put under pressure. They haven't been through nothing. They don't got no experience. They didn't been through anything. And people keep talking about, well, I've been through something because this person had cheated on me multiple times and I forgive them. In certain, a lot of situations, this person put their hand on me, or we had gotten fights and all. Man, that shit is little basic ass shit. Y'all have never left the state in the city with each other that y'all met. That y'all, okay, you met that person in that city and state. Y'all both make money. Y'all both decided to move together with each other. Y'all might get in on um, certain situations, arguments, and fights or whatever with each other, but. Y'all don't have no experience with each other. Y'all don't really... Just because y'all been with each other that long, there's, there's not no experience. Just because you're moving with a person, been living with, and been living with a person, and been knowing a person for so many years, and sleeping around with a person for so many years, does not mean you actually know that person. It's people that can play that role, and can play that character, and can play like they wifey and husband and husband material, for a long time and show and show you like I'm not really into this marriage shit. 
They can just show you right in your face like, I'm not really into you. I'm not really into this marriage shit. I'm not, I'm not for this shit. I'm not really into, you know, being the father of your children. You feel me? I, I'm just, I, you know, I'm just not into want to have a child by you in the first place. But I did because at the moment of time, I felt like that's the right thing to do. And a woman can be like this. It can be vice versa. A woman can be be the same motherfucking way. Oh, you know, I done it because because the based on the energy that she was giving me, you know, I, I was just going with the flow. I felt like it was the right thing too. But God just doing it because. I feel like it's the right thing to do, but you don't have no experience to know it's the right thing to do because you are you caught up in actions, but you're not caught up in a reaction. Got not caught up in a re got not worrying about a person reaction after after the response because y'all don't want to be responsible for shit. Nobody don't want to be responsible for shit. Everybody plays victim and point the fucking fingers. I hold myself accountable for my shit. If I'm with a person and then damn, I met like I you know I miss a red flag or I see red flags and I don't try to like be um, you know I don't want to be trying to be combative with nobody. But when a person trying to show me red flags and they trying to be combative with me and they trying to challenge my mind and I just push that off to the side and it might be a little a little thing. It don't, it don't have to be nothing real big and serious. If I just be like, man, I ain't worrying about that. That I'm the one to blame. I'm the one to blame because I didn't want to do the research. I didn't want to look into that and see what's actually going on. I allowed them to do that. When you feel me, it, like it shouldn't be that way. When you building up, when you so bonded with a person. You shouldn't be like, I don't rely, like, I'm just going to just follow you. I'm going to rely on you to just do what the way, do what the fuck you want to do to me. No, it don't work like that. Y'all both should be like, okay, we doing this shit for a purpose. We doing this because this shit makes sense. We doing it because we don't believe in free will and choice and options. That's how y'all supposed to do that shit. You feel me? Y'all don't supposed to just be... Believing in free will and choice and options, that shit is illusion. That shit not real. If that can relocate with each other and be in a situation and be in a situation away from friends and family and attachment desires, y'all don't know each other. It doesn't matter how it doesn't matter how long you with a person, it doesn't matter you putting a ring on that finger, that shit doesn't matter. Y'all don't know each other. Y'all just having fun. Y'all just having fun. Y'all worrying about the wrong shit. Y'all still stuck in the matrix. Y'all bots. Because bots think like that. It's World War III going on. It's the Civil War about to go on. Your infrastructure is, is failing. The power grid about to go down. The money about to run out. It's about to be a food storage. Y'all not growing your own food. You know, you're not connected with nature. You're not doing any fucking thing. You worrying about the wrong shit. You worrying about being happy all the fucking time and having fun. So when I get with a person, that's the only thing I'm looking for is being happy and having fun. That's how white supremacy got shot. That's how the matrix get you. You too caught up in just one thing. I don't understand life is based on duality. You can't have one without the other. Peace. I love myself. Three is free.